Welcome viewers, uh, today we are with the High Commissioner of Sri Lankan, uh, High Commission, uh, Vice Admiral uh, Mohan Vijay Vikrama. Thank you very much, uh, High Excellency, for giving us a time. Uh, what do you uh, uh, think about the Pakistan and the Pakistani culture since you appoint here? Good morning, viewers. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Moshin, and uh, for the 24 News uh, channel for having this interview. The answer question about uh, Pakistan, Pakistan people, I must say that it's a beautiful country with beautiful people, warm people, friendly people. So that's my uh, impression of Pakistan. Do you visit Pakistani cities uh, other than Islamabad? I have been to a few cities. I have been to Lahore, I have been to Karachi, I have been to Mutan, I have been to uh, Swat. And of course, cities on the GT road when you come from Lahore, mm. then Faisalabad. Also in Multan, you uh, talk about the Multan. Yes. Uh, do you taste the food of Pakistan? <laughs> what Pakistan food, uh, I think, is all low, is the same, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> so, delicious food, yes. Okay, Excellency, what makes Pakistan an important country for Sri Lanka? You know, this Pakistan-Sri Lanka relationship uh, did not start a few years back. It was from our independence. Okay. From 1948, in our case, in your case, in 1947. From that time onwards, uh, the story goes that our founding father came to Karachi and met your founding father. And that's how diplomacy started. So from there onwards, our relationship be, ship has been very, very at a very high level, whether it is social, political, defense, trade, uh, it has been always good. So, uh, uh, both countries are support each other yes, in time both, by time. We uh, export and our trade uh, between the two countries are quite high comparative to our size of our country. We almost close upon $500 million of uh, total exports. And uh, uh, you must know that we have a free trade agreement with Pakistan. Pakistan's first free trade agreement was with Sri Lanka. Okay. And we have, uh, we can trade 4,000 uh, of items without tax, both sides. Okay. So, uh, it's an important uh, trading partner. Right. Uh, so, Sri Lanka buying the most products from Pakistan. Which type of products? No, we, uh, Sri Lanka basically cotton. Uh, then of course we have pharmaceuticals. We have a uh, uh, large uh, sector of items. But last year we imported something about $334 million of uh, goods from Pakistan. Okay. So what, what is the volume uh, trade between the Pakistan and Sri Lanka I right now? Right now it came to about $400 million. Okay. It's uh, going to decrease or increase? It has been in that region going up and down uh, depending on COVID time it came down. But we hope to increase, especially our imports to Pakistan, we are looking at increasing it to at least about $150 million. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Excellency, we are coming about the crisis in Sri Lanka recently. Um, uh, as you are facing a uh, economic crisis, every Pakistani worried about uh, uh, Sri Lankan situation. Uh, so, uh, what is the actual situation right now in Sri Lanka? Uh, the Sri Lankan situation was, uh, you know, it's uh, a culmination of being a welfare state for a long time. Sri Lanka has been providing it free education, free health, free a lot of things to our people. And uh, we have been managing our balance sheet over a period uh, with uh, uh, accumulating a debt. So in uh, 2022, uh, all of a sudden we found that, uh, you know, with COVID and uh, when our tourism almost did not uh, provide us the, uh, re you know, the funds what we used to get because of COVID, we all of a, all of a sudden ran short of Forex. Okay. And without dollars, we could not import uh, our fuel, our uh, medicines, our gas, and so on. So there was a crisis. So we have gone to IMF. Uh, already, the staff level agreement is approved. Uh, debt restructuring is on for an extended uh, fund facility. But at the moment, we are generally seeing light into the tunnel, where our economy is slightly recovering. Okay. We can see. Uh, 
more tourists coming in now and uh, at the same time we get the, our exports have been generally good so i have a feeling that uh, it will take a while but uh, we are quietly recovering okay well, why uh, pakistani tourist uh, to going sri lanka which think is most Uh, uh, attractive for the tourist unfortunately pakistanis have not uh, been attracted to sri lanka a lot of pakistanis do not know about sri lanka maybe it's our fault for not uh, probably probably pro properly publicizing it sri lanka was judged as the most sought out destination for tourists in 2018 okay. uh, before uh, the easter bombing and now also it is within the first 10 countries in the world for tourists Okay. But Pakistanis, uh, I have seen that they are going to UAE, Baku, Indonesia, and some of the other countries. But they are skipping Sri Lanka. Okay. We are now uh, trying to uh, publish, give more publicity, and uh, Sri Lankan Airlines is also working very hard to attract more and more Pakistanis to come there. If some Pakistanis want to visit uh, Sri Lanka, how much uh, your High Commission here in Islamabad facilitate with the? Uh, a tourist who want to go Sri Lanka. Number one is we will facilitate in the sense that uh, visa is always online, and if there is some delay in visa, they give us a reference number and we get it expedited uh, with the Minister of. Uh, uh, it's done by the Immigration uh, Department. We get it expedited. Other than that, we give them certain uh, guidelines. Uh, but uh, Sri Lanka, if you go to Sri Lanka, you see that you know very free, and you can move anywhere you want. Uh, there are no restrictions. And uh, whoever who have gone to Sri Lanka and returned from Pakistan, always come and say that uh, they have a good uh, visit, a good uh, opportunity to see what's available in Sri Lanka. Happy memories. Right. May, may I have any in future plan uh, between the Pakistan and the Sri Lanka to promote the tourism? is any plan uh, a ferry travel uh, through the sea between karachi and colombo or other uh, city of the is that possible and no i have not uh, heard about a plan about uh, using the ferry to move from uh, karachi to colombo in future it it is possible it may be that the distance is a little bit too much where the passenger will have to spend about two and a half three days at sea second thing uh, this part of the sea is also not going to be very very calm all right around the year because okay. uh, it get blown up during the southwest monsoon and uh, at the same time you must have enough passengers to go either way for a ferry to be uh, cost effective so it may be a thing to study but i don't think uh, we have any plans to have a ferry but we have airlines going from uh, lahore and karachi okay. direct flights Three days. Sri Lankan airline. Sri Lankan airline. And the PA also working. We have uh, asked PA, PIA to start the possible a flight from Islamabad. Right. But if you get that, there is enough uh, movement, uh, enough seats for passengers to go up and down. Okay. Mm, uh, cricket diplomacy is one of the best reason. Every country who is close because of the cricket. The cricket team of Sri Lanka is close to. Uh, heart of pakistani every pakistani what is uh, the uh, you think about the pakistan and the sri lankan cricket uh, cricket match you uh, watching these matches and what do you think about i must uh, say that you know we are in debt to pakistan for cricket because pakistan is one of the countries which uh, supported us to get yes. into icc yes i mean uh, to get test uh, test status i think in uh, the 70s yes i mean we were not test playing country and okay. pakistan supported us sri lanka is also supporting pakistan because sri lanka is one of the best team for pakistan who is coming in the difficult situation when the pakistan no, cricket is going to each other we have supported you in cricket and you have supported us in cricket because both countries cricket uh, is a passion people love it and uh, although we say in colombo uh, the most uh, attracted sport is rugby okay. but cricket is all around in sri lanka everybody knows cricket and if there's a match everybody is glued to the tv yes well, psl is uh, on going uh, tournament here in pakistan but we are missing uh, some big name from the uh, sri lankan team who are the still uh, uh, right now uh, champion of asia cup trophy 
Yeah, I do not know because it sometimes it clashes with the domestic and other international uh, tournaments. Uh, PSL I know, I have uh, gone and watched the PSL last time in Lahore. Okay. And uh, we had on and off some players. At the same time, we have been having uh, Pakistan players taking part in our Premier League yes, right, right. Right. every year. And last year also during this crisis period, they came and played uh, matches in Colombo and Gaul. Hmm. So, uh, the cricketing uh, diplomacy is uh, at a very high level. Excellency, what do you think about uh, uh, the Pakistani future? Uh, uh, because we are suffering uh, right now, uh, same situation you are also facing that situation uh, about economy. What do you think about the Pakistan? Yeah, Pakistan is a great nation. It's a regional power. It's the fourth or fifth largest population in the world. I mean, Pakistan is a resilient uh, country. You know, you come down and come up like us. <laughs> now we had 30 years of war. Uh, I mean, uh, no one thought that we will eliminate the scourge of terrorism. Now we have come out of it. So we have ups and downs. And, uh, uh, you know, your leadership, uh, whoever it is, uh, should be able to turn it around. And uh, people must support uh, whoever they are uh, to turn it around. Uh, I don't think uh, that we should not worry much of the situation. Okay. Uh, Sri Lanka is uh, uh, one of the best literacy rate here in our region. What is uh, the reason behind over there? The reason is uh, from uh, the time of our independence uh, machine, we uh, provided free education to our children. Uh, that is uh, from uh, year one up to university is free whoever who gets selected to the university. We have at the moment about 45,000 uh, students entering university every year. Okay. And uh, the other one is uh, now there is a law that uh, in case a parent doesn't uh, send a child to school, he could be tried in courts. Right. So it's compulsory. So uh, there is a, a two system, um, education system in Sri Lanka or one which is the government and the private sector, just like Pakistan? Ours is uh, totally government. Okay. There are some uh, private schools which provide uh, education, but with the government syllabus. Right. And uh, under the government supervision. But uh, mostly education is government. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, um, Excellency, for giving us a time. And uh, we are talking with the High Commissioner of uh, Sri Lanka, who, who said that the Pakistan um, a economic crisis is uh, uh, for the temporary time. It will be facing and uh, going up again and again. Thank you very much.